Hi loves, I'm grateful to have another opportunity to share with you my experience knowledge wisdom during the process. Yes, I'm Christian. I'm an energy flow director assisting humanity and directing the flow of energy to their highest potential. And today I need to remind myself and share with you all uh, the reason why it's so important to stay in the present moment. Um, I use this, actually I'm just going to go right into it. I use this tool to stay in the present moment because um, you can, your energy can be tangled with certain thoughts certain events certain ideas and you know tr trying to empower yourself when you're having those types of distractions i call them distractions which is totally fine right there's nothing negative or wrong distractions we're just talking about uh that there are distractions or one we're not connected to uh, source or uh, our divinity our, our reason why we're here and that is, if it's not in your immediate reality, don't try to, n not that you don't try to, become aware of your energy going into that thought form, that idea, that event, right? Uh, hopefully that makes sense, right? So, for example, it's not that, it's not about creating awareness, right because right now we could all create awareness uh for example let's say um okay so let's say i'm not african-american and so right now in my vicinity i i don't see a lot of black african-americans or african-americans in my my reality so trying to talk about black lives matter will be draining my energy if that makes sense because in my immediate environment i'm not interacting with anyone that is of that descent or that uh ancestor maybe perhaps we all originate from there but um what i'm saying is that it's not in my i don't see it in my everyday right like i don't experience it every day if you are then let's say you are in america and then you so happen to encounter a protest and you want to uh talk about your feelings and thoughts about the blm movement then that's the perfect time to do so that is a time where it's in the present moment where you won't be uh you won't be in and out right you are literally you see it you can feel it you can see that energy so you exchange it you transmute it you integrate it you integrate it and then you transmute it and that is what is a, such an imperative tool right now that uh our phones takes us out of the present moment, right? And if it's not in your immediate environment, allow others to experience that and to encourage them to say their truth, their their reality, because that is literally what is imperative right now. That would be an authentic way of like um, expressing certain ideas or events, right? You, we can talk about it, right? It's totally fine. It's just there has to be a consensual intention of like, why are we having this conversation while not in the present moment you know what i mean um which is always hard because as humans we love being in the past and the future and in our conceptual minds etc cetera, etc cetera, right however always having an intention when you engage in those activities meaning engaging in the past engaging in the future engaging in concepts or or anything of that matter then having an intention will protect your energy um, if it's in your immediate environment, then that's where that energy needs to be integrated and then transmuted, experience it and then let it go. That's how it means to be in the present moment um, and letting that energy come and go, right? Uh, that's why it's so tricky when you see people on Instagram talking, like maybe on here on YouTube. I'm intentionally doing this as a way to remind myself of of my sovereignty of where I come from in hopes to inspire you and in, in your reality to 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 experience what I'm experiencing in the way of staying in the present moment and relating to the present moment and that's a tool that I use and I'm sharing it with you all again because I think I've done it before um, but like I said it's a reminder of where I'm at that it has helped me stay in the present moment and understand that type of meditation because that is essentially a form of meditation and i'm so so excited to inform y'all what's coming soon um but yeah hopefully that makes sense um if you are a type of person that is very you you're an advocate for a certain uh element or a certain event or a certain concept and you like talking about it then make sure 
that you don't get lost in it, right? Because you're giving your energy and it's totally fine, loves. It's fine. It's dandy if you do that, right? I mean, it's your choice. You can do it. But from my experience, if you're giving your energy away, then you um, are receiving that same energy back, right? It's not new energy. It's not your own energy. It's that concept's energy and its thoughts and feelings into back to you. Uh, and that's how the energetic circle comes out. If you want me to talk about how that works, like the energetic uh, relationship, let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, click on the notification bell. I mean, having that awareness of um, the energetic uh, interactions between things, ideas, concepts, people, events, uh, you'll then understand Wait, okay, this is not my thought. This is not my energy. This has nothing to do with me. Uh, and then a lot of people with that, it's like, oh, well, you know, you are insensitive and you don't care and you are racist. They say all this. Mind you that that's their energy, right? That's their energy, not your energy, their energy. Because when you realize, okay, I'm just still using the BL as an example, BLM. I am not an African-American. So if I'm talking about it, then, you know, you have two spectrums. You have the person like, oh, you're an advocate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you have the other perspective where it's like, you can't talk about your experience or your experience is not um, valid because you're not uh, African-American living in America or, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? They're both polarities. And that's how the energetic, no matter what you get, you're still going to get um, someone else's energy versus yours. That's why if you want to share your opinion, share it with the intention of, uh, of experience it when it's happening. But besides that, loves, I don't I, keep it in, right? You know your own idea. You know your own opinion. And sharing it doesn't make any difference, right? Like I just said, if someone's, if you're an advocate and someone's like, oh, yay, they agree with you, you'll have that perspective. If you go and you and you tell your opinion and a lot of people are like, oh, well, you can't say that because you're not African-American. You don't really understand. You'll get, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter until you're in that position, right? Like black African-Americans talking about their experience, that's good, right? That's authentic because that's coming from their experience, uh, their knowledge. Now it's your decision if you want to take on that energy and believe it or not. And that's another conversation if you want me to um, talk about that. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it. <laughs> because when you take on someone else's idea, then you become their idea. You're in their dragon. If you haven't seen that dragon video, uh, go check it out. But you'll eventually be in their dragon and you're just restating their ideas and they're not really yours. And that also drains your energy. So you got to become aware of that. And the only way to become aware of your energy loves from my experience right and i'm giving you these tools and techniques because you know if i know it and you're watching this i mean it's it's time right it's time um ooh. wait if you okay it is time oh it's um staying in the present moment right that's when it benefits you that's when it benefits humanity that's when it benefits mother earth is when you're in the present moment and you are interacting with that present moment ener energies because essentially they are reflection of your your internal world um so working with that immediately is um the best way you are empowered every single moment if you decide to be in the past or in the future in the in the mental astral plane or the mental plane or the thought form or the conceptual mind then you will uh, make sure that uh, you don't get lost in that in that thought form right because a lot of people think referencing another artist referencing other material is very smart and intellectual but in the higher astral planes you're not because you're not you're not even you're not even you don't even have your own opinion you're just referencing someone else who has the same opinion um so it's like ver verbatim and it's not really same energy used it's nothing new it's nothing innovative it's not coming from your originality your authenticity and essentially that is what um 
we're trying to anchor and embody here in the Rainbow Love community and try to share it with the world in reality. So hopefully you share it. If you're interested in more of this information, give this video a thumbs up, like, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, like always and forever, uh, thank you so much for your love and support and we will feel you later. Bye.